Hey everyone, this is Cholera bringing you set two from Savior vs. Silver. And this is the 06 MSL Season 2 Finals and um, Zerg vs. Zerg. This is from my Blast from the Past series where I'm trying to cast some uh, great games and famous players from the past that so far have only been done in Korean. And um, we're looking at game two here. Savior is up 1 0. Um, I think it was a bit of a poor performance from Silver in game one, honestly. He didn't pressure Savior at all. And uh, I'm not sure why, uh, or, you know, I, I think it might have been Savior's better positioning of his Mutalisks, or he had a few more, but uh, Savior's Mutalisk won out at the end. Uh, he just flew over to his base, um, had uh, big air combat, and, and uh, took out all of Silver's Mutalisks with still a few left. And uh, at Zerg versus Zerg, that's what it can, can come down to. So we'll have to see what Silver can pull off in uh, this match. And the game's starting. And Majun fighting. That's right. Oh, that was Majun fighting. Uh, okay, so the map is Blitz. Um, Two-player map. Spawn points are at the 1 and 11 o'clock. And this is Silver at the Yellow Zerg at uh, the 1 o'clock position. And this is Savior, uh, Red Zerg, at the 11 o'clock position. Now, I'm expecting to see from Savior some of his uh, amazing performance. Uh, I haven't seen these actual games yet. Uh, I do know the results of the whole series. But, you know, I've been watching a lot of Jadon recently. Um, anyone following the pro gaming scene has got to know about Jadon. Amazing Zerg right now. Uh, you know, beaten only by Flash so far. And um, I'm expecting some Jadon level performance here from Savior, honestly. This is, uh, you know, in 2006 when he was um, just started uh, winning leagues left and right, and he was considered as perhaps the best StarCraft player for about a year uh, in in this pro gaming world. And unfortunately recently he's been losing to some players that aren't considered very good and just, you know, playing sort of, uh, playing not like his old form, doing build orders that um, aren't that effective. Um, you know, he's been doing a lot of, for example, TVZ, he's been going straight to Hive uh, in a few games or just Doing, doing weird things and just uh, not microing well. And you, you can really see it. He's, he's been getting emotional in some games when he's lost. Uh, you know, it, it's frustrating to lose a few games in a row when you are considered such a great player before. And we see um, we see a divergence here, actually. Silver looks like he's got the spawning pool up first, but uh, Savior's going to go for his uh, second hatchery. He's going for his expansion. And we're going to see if Silver can pressure Savior here, because uh, he, he needs to he needs to kill off some drones or, or amount of good attack before um, Savior's economic advantage kicks in. So we're going to see if he's going to go for Speedlings first before he upgrades to the Lair, which is uh, definitely a viable option also, Zerg versus Zerg. And he's going to have more gas than Savior, uh, at least to start with. So yeah, we're going to have to see if... Um, if Silver's Zerglings can get there first, I think he's going to get there right when Savior's Zerglings pop because of uh, the difference in builds. I think Savior did something like a 11 hatch or a, maybe even a 12 hatch, uh, although it seems like he's a f too few drones for that. Anyway, here comes Silver's uh, six lings here, and Savior's being very smart. He's using his drone to uh, to block the ramp a little bit, giving him a few more seconds, and uh, he's definitely going to see this coming. Um, we're going to see if Silver can do some damage to Savior's second hatchery. Actually, that often is a good strategy. To, not necessarily to kill it, but to damage it so that in the future you can put in a kamikaze attack with uh, your lings or with your mutas and just take down that hatchery. And if the hatchery goes down, that's a big, big loss in Zerg versus Zerg. It's almost unrecoverable. And we're seeing we're seeing Silver pounding away at that hatchery. And, uh, you know, Savior's in trouble here. He's going to bring down some drones, and he's, he's going to need to delay the Zerglings uh, Oh man, Silver doesn't even care about... Oh, and now he's attacking the drones. Takes down one of Savior's drones here. And we're going to see if uh, Savior's Zerglings can come in in time. He, he's got his Zerglings out. Um, looks like he's taking out Silver's Zerglings. And, uh, but look at that Hantry. It's down to maybe a quarter of life or less. Maybe 200 hit points. And if Silver can get a few Zerglings in, he can take it down. And there comes Silver's Zerglings. He's, uh, he, he retreated a little bit. And we got more reinforcements coming in from Silver. So this might turn out to be a very quick game. This might turn out to be a quick victory for Silver. And uh, more Zerglings coming in. And um, yeah, the Koreans are yelling about speed upgrade. Uh, I'm not sure if the speed upgrade is going to come. That's going to give Silver a huge advantage. I don't think Savior is going to be able to hold this game if uh, 
if Sober gets a speed upgrade in Zerglings because they just own slow Zerglings. And he did get that gas uh, before Savior significantly. And uh, we're seeing Silver probably masking up some more. And there's more Zerglings. Looks like um, Silver's got about a dozen Zerglings here. And he's going to take out Savior's Zerglings. And uh, Savior with... Oh, Savior with some reinforcements just in time. Now they're still evenly matched. And Silver needs to get in there and take out that hatchery. Before... Oh, it looks like uh, Silver's got his Spire up first also. Um, and he might be economically ahead because... Savior lost some mining time pulling those drones out. He did lose a drone, and and looks like Silver did manage to slip some Zergling suit into the main here. And uh, uh, Silver definitely ahead right now, but he needs to he needs to take down that hatchery. He's going to do some more damage, or else he's going to lose his lead, and uh, it's going to go back to being even. But looks like Silver's going to get his Mutilus way before Savior. And Silver actually only has one hatchery. I didn't notice that. Uh, he's going for a straight one hatchery build here, and this is going to be you know this this is uh, one common strategy Zerg versus Zerg. And uh, looks like looks like Silver is going to go right for the hatchery. He's going to take down the second hatchery. So Savior in a lot of trouble here. He's lost his hatchery, and he is economically behind. He is technologically behind too, because Silver's Silver's middle is going to probably get there before Savior's can even pop. And uh, looks like Savior does have more Zerglings though, because Silver lost a couple of Zerglings in that attack. And we're going to see if Savior's going to go for a counter here at. Uh, Silver's main Savior's gonna go for a counter at Silver's main. This is gonna be fun. I commentate the rest of the series, the Silver and Savior. Um, looks like uh, looks like Silver's got a good concave though, so Savior's not gonna be able to break through. And yeah, Savior in, in huge trouble here. Uh, once the Mutalists get over, he's gonna have to do something. Uh, I'm not sure if he's gonna produce Mutas or Scourge here with his first batch of uh, Larva after his Spire is complete. And there comes Silver's Mutalisks. Uh, Savior's got nothing here to defend against it. And he's just trying to hold the ramp here. And uh, and once the Mutalisks come over, they're going to be able to help the Zerglings break through too. Uh, often, you know, Mutalisks don't go in for necessarily the killing blow. They do decide the advantage, but Zerglings, uh, you know, even with Mutalisks out, Zerglings are incredibly powerful for taking the ground forces and some of the buildings. And it looks like, oh, it looks like Silver's Mutalisks are in Savior's base. He's picking off drones. He's got one drone so far. Uh, he's going for a second. He's gonna probably going to get two or three at least. Oh man, the Savior's not mining at all. This is, uh, he's in huge trouble. I don't see how he's going to come back here. Yeah, Savior's Mutalisks popping out. He's going to have fewer Mutalisks. And uh, Silver's just going in for the kill here on these Mutalisks. And yeah, Savior's going to lose all of his Mutalisks, I believe. He does uh, retreat one. And then there comes Savior's Scourge. Uh, oh, look at that. He might actually be able to stop this attack. Uh, one to one, one Mutalisk versus one Mutalisk, but Savior's lost almost all of his drones. He's, he's got, he has to pull his drones away from gas, and there's no way he's going to come back. Savior loses. Um, Silver takes this, this set, and it's, uh, one to one here, going to game two, uh, game three. And, I uh, hope you enjoy this. This is a, uh, I believe a best out of five, so we're going to see, uh, game three and four here. And, uh, please let me know what you think about it, and, uh... Yeah, let me know of any series you want to see. All right, this is Cholera, and uh, get ready for set three afterwards. Thanks.